Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm basically coming to talk to you about a brand that has slowly crept into my life. And now that it's here, I think it's here to stay. And the brand that I'm talking about is Under Armour. Now, it's funny because for the longest time, I had never even considered Under Armour as being a brand for me. I mean, I typically grew up, I was a Nike guy, a Reebok guy, tended to get into Adidas and things like that, but never really naturally gravitated towards Under Armour. We saw a creep into the market eh, maybe a couple decades ago, coming in slowly through uh, football and baseball and really the sort of uh, pro athletes. And, you know, for me, it kind of never really resonated. So I didn't really give it too much thought. But strangely enough, actually, of all people, my mother kind of got me into Under Armour because she bought me this sweatshirt. And it quickly became one of my favorites. And it really kind of got me going in a different direction. And now Under Armour for me, has become definitely a staple. So what caught my attention pretty quick about this sweatshirt is that it's actually a very tight weave. This is 100% polyester and it's part of their Storm series. And when you tug on this fabric, it actually doesn't move at all. It's not like your typical cotton sweatshirt. And in reality, what I found was I was actually able to go outside in this on a rainy day and not get wet and I'm not talking like downpouring if it was gonna downpour yeah I'd get wet but anything of like a pretty reasonable mist to a light rain if I was just doing some basic tasks or getting from point A to point B it was more than enough to keep me dry and it really caught my attention and this sweatshirt really quickly became one of my favorites so I have a lot more to show you whether you're a hiker backpacker camper whether you're a general outdoorsman or into athletics if you just want something for good quality daily wear, there's going to be something in this video for you. So stay tuned. So very similar to this sweatshirt, I actually have a couple more. Now this is not part of their storm gear. This sweatshirt here is just a basic sweatshirt, but I do like it. Overall, it fits me very well. It's a good quality addition to my wardrobe. And even at that, I do have another one of these storm sweatshirts. And this is, again, another one of my favorites. At this point, you're kind of seeing a theme. Um, you know, it's uh, pretty much... The same color blue, very similar in terms of its overall construction. This is that storm material, so good quality, durable material, not too much in the way of stretch, and a little bit of water resistance. So overall, these are products that I found that I wear a lot. I very much like them. They fit me great, and they're overall good quality construction. So another product that you saw me actually do a review on about a year ago is this Aiton jacket by Under Armour. This to me is one of my absolute go-to garments. I love this. This is sort of like my uh, late fall, early winter jacket, uh, pretty much late fall, and then I kind of uh, move on to some other things because I do have a lot of outerwear. But I love this jacket. It fits me great. It's super comfortable, has really nice fleece on the inside. And if this looks like something you'd be interested in, definitely take a look at my full feature review. So as somebody who's into backpacking and camping, one of the biggest things I hate is sweating. And I mean, you know what? It comes with the territory. Yeah, you're going to sweat, but the reality is how do you deal with it? You know, I'm really one of those people that for the longest time didn't get it. I was always wearing cotton, cotton underwear, cotton t-shirts, cotton in my pants. No, 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 no. Big no, no. I have specifically learned that I actually don't like cotton, period. Ever. I try not to wear cotton anymore. In fact, all of my underwear and uh, first base layer garments are all polyester based, some sort of poly pro. So in that regard, I've gravitated naturally towards Under Armour's polyester products. Here we have Under Armour boxer briefs. I really like these. I wear them all the time, especially when I'm hiking and camping. The thing is, yes, you're going to sweat and yes, you're going to get wet. But the key is how quickly do you dry out and all this Under Armour gear and a lot of polyester gear in general just dries out super fast. So uh, it's very helpful to not get cold. Obviously in the daytime you're very active and at nighttime the temperatures drop and the last thing you want is sweat on you that's going to make you cold. So being able to dry out quickly is definitely a must. 
Now, not only do I have the underwear, but I also wear a lot of their base layer shirts. So in that regard, I have some long sleeves and short sleeves. So if I'm going out on a cold day and I need a good base layer, a lot of times I'll come right to these Under Armour long sleeve shirts. They're a little bit more form fit. Uh, they fit kind of tight. I sort of like them that way to reduce the bulk. But overall, they're a great product. They keep you warm. They give you sort of like that next layer of skin, so to speak. Uh, but they breathe and they allow you to get uh, all the sweat off of your body and completely dry out so you don't stay wet. And if you have a good shell or the right product on the outside, it makes for a perfect system. So anyway, I've naturally gravitated towards all these Under Armour uh, underwear products. And in this regard, uh, base layers for hiking, camping, and any outdoor activities. Now this is a slightly different shirt from the one that I had and what you'll notice is, and you may be able to see this, this is a complete mesh back. So the whole back side of this shirt is mesh. So granted you do have the long sleeves, but at the same time the entire back of the body is mesh. So in the summertime this is a great option, maybe you want to keep uh, bugs and branches or different things off of your skin or even protect yourself from the sun at least with some of this heat gear uh, You're able to fully vent your body. So you're not going to sweat a lot. It's a super light garment It doesn't add any bulk pretty much uh, form fit and streamlined and makes actually for a pretty good base layer under anything else you would need in the summertime So I very much gravitate towards this when I'm hiking and camping in the summer and spring now in the same regard, you have a short sleeve version of that where the back of this is completely mesh. So again, just another product where you can completely see through this. It's a complete mesh back, which is nice. Keeps you very, very cool. Uh, overall, nice and dry. Dries out almost instantaneously. And again, just the more of these products I get my hands on and the more I use them, I'm really starting to see the value I think they're well made. I've never had any stitching out of place or any flaws, and I'm totally digging it. So again, just some good quality um, outdoor gear, uh, camping, backpacking, especially backpacking where you're packing on the miles, you're going deep into the woods or into the mountains, and you know at night the temperature is going to drop off and you want to be nice and dry. And that leaves me with the final part of my discussion, which is footwear. For the longest time, I mean I'm talking, it's been like six years since I got myself a pair of sneakers. And again, I was always um, a Reebok or Nike or New Balance or Adidas guy, never thought of Under Armour shoes. But once I got my hands on all that other gear, I figured, you know what, it might be worth a try. So actually what I did was I went to a local store, tried on a bunch of pairs. Now, they ultimately weren't a style that was perfect for me so I went on Under Armour's website and bought shoes directly off of them and what I have here is two pairs first is the Canyon low cut and the Newell Ridge mid cut excellent excellent shoes I'll go into a little bit of detail about these and I'm not too sure if I'll do a full feature review on these but at least I'll show them to you real quick so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about now these shoes here are the Under Armour Post Canyon Low Cut. They're very interesting. I found these um, in a couple of different colors and I just sort of opted for this brown color. I was looking for something kind of neutral that didn't stick out too much. And I did like the overall styling. And these are at least a little bit rugged. They're not like a lightweight shoe. I mean, they are lightweight, but rugged enough that they're gonna be durable. So in that regard, they have a reinforced toe, a nice tread pattern, and these are actually part of the Storm series, which makes them waterproof. So there is a non-waterproof version of this, so just be careful if this is something you would be interested in. Make sure that you get the Storm-proof version, the waterproof version, because why not? And why would you want to get shoes like this that aren't waterproof? Um, these are maybe $10 more than the non-waterproof version, but for me, it's totally worth having dry feet. Now, just taking a quick look at the tread pattern, you'll see here that it is reasonably aggressive. 
certainly not uh, tank treads, but at the same time, reasonably aggressive. So they should have some pretty decent grip and good for overall general outdoor activities. I feel like these make for a quality day trip, uh, you know, light hiking, maybe not necessarily all the way up into the mountains, but I think they would be sturdy enough and definitely hold up to some abuse. And I like the fact that, again, they are waterproof, reasonably stylish, a little bit subdued, and definitely nice quality. Now, they do fit my feet well, but I'll warn you, I typically wear a 12 for all my shoes. That would be the case for boots and sneakers and all that. And I found an Under Armour. They seem to fit a little bit on the small side. So I did go with a 12 and a half and these fit me just about perfect. So just be careful, and I suggest if you're interested in these, you go and try them at a store first and figure out what size is gonna work for you. Now there is also a mid-height shoe available for these post canyons. So if you like something a little bit taller, more like a six inch size boot, you can certainly get these in the mid-height. And finally, the last product I'm gonna show you today, these are the Newell Ridge Mid-Cut. Now there is a low cut version of these, so you can decide what works for you. Now these are a lightweight shoe that are kind of in between a shoe and a boot. They were very interesting to me. Now one of the things that I struggle with is on my little day trips and day excursions, sometimes I just don't want to wear heavy hiking boots. I wanted something a little bit lighter, but at the same time still waterproof. And that's what these are. They are a very lightweight material they are made of interesting uh different foam material and if you look here it's like a proprietary foam they call anafoam and so the construction is very interesting uh, makes for a nice sturdy yet lightweight boot and overall what is great about these this particular model is gore-tex so uh, good quality water resistance um, I have not yet tested these in terms of getting them wet, so I don't know exactly how well they will hold up, and I don't know exactly how waterproof they are. But what I found based on my experience is that anything with Gore-Tex tends to do a pretty good job, if not great job, keeping you nice and dry. And one of the more interesting features is that these have a Michelin sole, which is actually the lug pattern completely modeled after mountain bike tires. So if you can see here, there is sort of a front back pattern, just like in a mountain bike. So here you have a frontward facing pattern. In the middle, it kind of switches. And towards the back, you have a reverse facing pattern. So very interesting, literally like mountain bike lugs. Um, and I have actually had some Michelin mountain bike tires. So kind of brings a little of that into these, which is kind of cool. Now again, some reinforced toes, so I'm hoping these are gonna be reasonably rugged, at least capable of handling any day excursions and maybe even for backpacking tasks. So I'll know this summer, I plan on wearing these. I would not wear them in the winter because they are very ventilated and I think it would be really cold on your feet, but these might be a nice lightweight option for summer backpacking. So overall, I am pretty excited about these. I think they're gonna make a very interesting shoe for me to wear. I like the mid height, I like the light weight, I like the tread, and I love the Gore-Tex. So overall, I'm pretty excited to see how these act in terms of hiking and backpacking. So all right guys, there you have it. A real quick look at some of my quickly becoming favorite gear. Under Armour. I'm very happy with this stuff. I think it's great quality, it fits me well. I tend to gravitate towards it now. It, serves a lot of function for me. That's what I really like about this. It's good quality, practical, and functional. Keeps me dry when I need to stay dry. Keeps me cool when I need to stay cool. Makes for good base layers and underwear. Makes for good outerwear. Now it's making for good shoes. I mean, what's next for me? Gotta get the socks, right? So, all right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what I saw. Hope I like what I saw. I did like what I saw. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. And if you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. See you soon.